Earth is our home. Born 4.5 billion years ago, for thousands of years, a place where humankind lived in harmony with nature. Biotopia is about bringing that balance back. Let's imagine Biotopia in Prague. Let's imagine a one square kilometer changing through a blend of bio-inventions. What if all the bio-inventions turn into a single substance? A true biomatter capable of meeting all needs of both humankind and nature. What would it look like? The vision starts with the transformation of neglected buildings and continues with the rest of the city. These buildings serve as the perfect nests for this biomatter to start evolving. The pipes of the buildings distribute fresh water and nutrients for springing plants. The first step towards this biological future. Not only greenery will take over buildings. The biomatter starts to disintegrate the old artificial piping system and substitute its function. Fresh water runs through the pores of the biomatter, essential for life of any kind. Slowly, veins of the system become a key support for all organisms thriving in a newly established symbiosis. When the greenery starts to accumulate, CO2 levels will drop and cooler and more humid urban spaces will form. Perfect conditions for biodiversity to rise back again. While the plants are supplied with water and nutrients, the products of photosynthesis are shared with the biomatter in return. Water is distributed through biomatter pipes, but it needs to be collected first and stored. Therefore, even in times of drought, water retained in organic collectors can be provided. Enjoy the first step towards Biotopia. Any balanced ecosystem cannot be complete without its fauna. We aim to create an environment in which we, humans and animals, can live side by side. Starting from the interior of the building, the biomatter is expanding, forming the very first pillars of organically shaped city sponge. Due to this process, the form of our houses will need to change drastically, opening new possibilities for design. First bio-inventions are integrating into the sponge. Among them, power plants that can harvest energy directly from the sun thanks to a special biological pigment. They are growing on the surface of the structure with the ability to change their shape and orientate to achieve maximum sun exposure. As the pillars grow bigger, bridges are emerging, allowing for fast connections across the city on multiple levels for humans and animals. Thanks to greenery densification, water evaporation increases. This increased humidity generates cloud formations, which we can use for cooling overheated areas. 
during our lives. The sponge grows and shrinks, bends and twists, clusters and scatters, adapts to our needs. It can become porous to increase wind flow for cooling. It can soak up excessive water from floodings, or it can move whole neighborhoods to fulfill residents' urban desires. The backbone of the entire sponge is the rich mycorrhizal network within. It distributes water, nutrients, light and information, creating an integrated ecosystem throughout cities. This network becomes especially crucial in underground farming. It brings all the water and nutrients the farms need, but also natural light which is emitted from photonic crystals. This way the biomatter can serve as soil and produce food fully locally, decreasing the need for transportation. This contributes to the self-sufficiency of the sponge on all levels. Interior spaces have now fully integrated the bio-inventions. Furniture is made of regenerative material for the ultimate reuse, thus saving tons of waste and production energy. The combination of the lush greenery, the form of the sponge rich in cavities, and the sufficient amount of resources creates an exciting and flexible multi-level environment for both humans and animals. To provide privacy, regenerative structures can quickly take shape of any kind, forming an enclosing membrane fully adapted to the user's desires. Eventually, the regenerative material will not only form new structures, it will also form new relationships. In a matter of seconds, you can make a wall disappear, joining spaces with a group of friends. You can adapt your environment and form a new bar to gather around and cook a dinner together, all through the real-time communication within the mycorrhizal network. Meetings have never been easier. Bubbles based on electricity generating eel cells provide a new means of transport. The system is highly flexible as its elementary units are able to form flocks of various shapes and sizes. Zero emission lighting is provided for the entire city by lamps based on algal bioluminescence. Even the darkest parts of the sponge appear calmer and safer. The biomatter is a fully biodegradable medium, providing resources for all life forms of the planet. It can move and reshape instantly in response to the needs of humankind and the earth itself. The sponge is now expanding from local cities to regional networks, across borders and entire continents eventually forming a new three-dimensional earth crust. 
This is the dawn of a new era of biology. Welcome to Biotopia. <laughs>